new year can bring many resolutions, mm -hmm. and one of them should be organizing a family emergency plan yes. from a house fire mm -hmm. to a flood. These tips can help you stay prepared for any type of catastrophic event mm -hmm. that may occur. And we've got Tony Pirani here from Cadell Reynolds joining <laughs> us with tips on how to prepare that emergency plan for your family. Tony, thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys for having me. We Tony, always thank love you so much here. for being here. We were talking about during the commercial break that I love when you guys come because these are things that I never think Same. about. If you don't sit down and really give it some thought, they yeah. don't occur to you that's until right. you need them. That's right, why right. planning ahead is so important. In fact, that's one of the biggest tips that I've got today is yeah. planning ahead. Yeah, yeah so we're going to be talking so. about how you guys at home, how you can prepare an emergency plan for your family. Tony, what are some tips there? So three main priorities. Um, you need to have a family emergency kit, mm -hmm. a preparedness kit. You need to have a family plan, and you mm -hmm. need to be informed. So if we can, let's, let's start with the being informed. Okay. Um, Obviously, tornadoes are more common in central and eastern Arkansas, where I'm originally from, right. than they are here in northwest Arkansas. But March is the beginning of tornado season. That's right, it is. And, yeah. you know, we had terrible tornadoes. I think there was one in Mountainburg last year, sure. a couple years ago down in mm -hmm. Cincinnati. Yep. Obviously, right across the border up in Joplin. Yep. So, I mean, they hit us. Sure. Right. And on average, Arkansas sees about 33 tornadoes every year. Wow. And so, you've got to know that that's a risk and you've got to be prepared for it. So, that's number one, being informed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Um, in terms of a family plan, and we'll just kind of walk it back here. You need to communicate, sure. right? Um, everybody needs to know in the event of an emergency, this is what we do. Um, have a meeting spot, okay. you know, um, that if, if the family gets separated, you know, whether that's a, a tree out in the backyard right. or, or, or I guess not a tornado, you wouldn't be outside, mm, sure. but right. make sure the family knows how to find each other, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. right? And then you need a family emergency preparedness kit. Mm -hmm. And the most important and critical thing in any type of emergency or natural disaster is clean water. Mm -hmm. And it's something that we all kind of take for granted, you yeah, know. Sure. Um, we've, uh, we're very fortunate in the times that we live in. Right. But when a disaster hits or an emergency strikes, clean water can be hard to come by. Yeah. And it's not just for drinking, by the way. Mm. You need clean water for uh, cleaning purposes, so uh, sanitation, things. hygiene, yeah. Yeah. Uh, cooking, preparing food. Yeah. Sure. Um, and, and that's, uh, generally speaking, uh, most experts advise and recommend that you have about a gallon of water per family mm. member. That's going to give you about a three-day supply okay. of water. Interesting. And then you also want to have a three-day supply of food. Obviously, yes. canned goods, dry crackers, things like that. Um, and if you got canned goods, you also got to have a can opener. Right, right. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and, and then, you know, first aid kit, kind of non prescription medications, sure. uh, fever reducers, anti inflammatories, things like that, antihistamines, um, antibody cream and ointment. Um, yeah. And then it's always a good idea, if you can, to include in your emergency kit a medium bucket that has a secure lid on it, keep some chlorine bleach mm. so that you can clean and basically sanitize yeah. things. Okay. Because if you're in an emergency situation for a while where you don't have water, things of that nature, sometimes illness can spread. Sure. And so you want to make sure you keep clean. Last thing, always have heavy-duty garbage bags and ties. And that mm. ties into the sanitation concern sure. because you're going to produce waste, you're going to produce trash. Yeah. If things aren't working properly, you got to do something with that. Sure. I feel wow. so much more informed now wow. that you've just shared all of that I love all those us. tips. Absolutely. Yeah.